Okay, g'day guys. Um, <clears throat> not something I've never done before, but thought I'd give this a go anyway. So I'm going to do an unboxing today of a um, Metabox laptop. This is the Alpha X NH58RA model. 15.6 um, inch. Um, it's got the, what is it, Intel i7-9750H hexacore uh, CPU. Graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, 4GB, uh, 16GB <clears throat> of RAM, I've got a 240GB um, SSD as the primary drive, and I've got a secondary drive in this one, um, which is 1TB at rated at 7200 RPM, and I also got a um, USB DVD-RW drive for this. Um, so yeah, let's have a look and see what it's like. I couldn't find a lot of information about these guys online and um, sort of doing a fair bit of searching around, I thought I'd give them these guys a go. They're local to Australia and they will custom make them to what specs you want. So this is it. Just bear with me. Hang on a second. And if you can hear that in the background, that's the dog whining because that's what she does. Anyway. Look. That was pretty well packaged. Uh, what do we get down here? Power leads. Power adapter. And here's the laptop. actually set one up last night <coughs> um, we got a really good deal uh, we got two of them um, I was looking at upgrading my computer and uh, my wife's computer is broken so we got a really good deal for two of them and DVD drive um, at the time the, the total price that we got for the two of them um, it knocked off close to a thousand dollars so Pretty freaking happy with that, I won't tell you the total price, but yeah. Here we go. So anyway, here we have it. So this is the Metabox. Um, the lid, the, the, the top of the laptop is alloy. And there's the screen cover. So that's it, the pretty sturdy top on it, and um, yeah, I'll go get this set up and then I'll um, keep going with the video. But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited to see what I can do with this. Um, primary use is going to be um, music, music production and um, video editing with them. And um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to see what it can do. So when I'm doing this video, probably later on in the video... I'm um, going to do a rendering test with one of my music clips and have it pretty heavy on reactive particles in there and do a test and see how long it takes to render that out. But yeah, that's it. Very, very nice lid. Very solid, very sturdy. And a fingerprint magnet. Cool. Okay, so I've got it all set up now um, I spent quite a bit of time yesterday just getting all the software and all bits and pieces on there that I wanted and um, I'll fire it up let's have a look at it check out the keyboard it's starting up you can customize all the colors on the keyboard as well not that that's a massive reason of why I got this but it's a cool feature anyway 
Okay, so that's what you got. I've just installed a whole lot of stuff on this. Um, got the second screen. I'm waiting on a HDMI to VGA adapter turning up, so I haven't been able to use that yet. Um, but yeah, so far from what I've been um, doing on this, um, it's all running unreal, super fast compared to my old laptop, um, which was an old i5 series 3 I think or third generation whatever you want to call it um, yeah but this is running great I've got um, old PlayStation 2 games so I've put the emulator on this and I've been able to run the PlayStation 2 games on this so far with no problems um, I ran Shadow of the Colossus on this which I've been told is a very very hard game to run and that ran at full frame rates um, and I tried it on what is it 2x with the resolution and that seemed to be running fine so i'll do some more playing around with this i'm going to do um a music video on this and like i was saying have it pretty heavy with reactive particles and we'll see how long that takes to render out and um yeah so far i'm pretty freaking happy with this i'm actually looking forward to seeing what i can do with this um music wise so yeah Okay, so this is Midnight Club 3 running on 2x resolution. I'm just going to speed it up until the game starts. So the whole time I was playing this, this ran at 100% frame rate the entire time. Okay, so this is Shadow of the Colossus. Um, I know I said earlier on in this video that I ran it at 2x resolution. Uh, when I was doing that at 2x resolution, I wasn't doing it for very long. I only ran it for about 30, 40 seconds just to test and see if it would run. Um, I was actually out in a pretty open area on the game and it wasn't rendering a hell of a lot of detail, so it ran pretty smooth. But as soon as I started um, the video of recording it, uh, when I was getting into areas where there was more detail, the frame rate did dip. Uh, it actually went down to about 80%, so it was really noticeable. So this one now is running at 1x resolution, and it did dip every now and then a little bit, but nothing really below about 90%. Um, you can see it dipping every now and then in this, but um, yeah, the game is quite playable. Uh, I chose this game to uh, test as the emulation and test the graphics card because it is supposed to be quite a hard game to emulate. And at 1x resolution, you can see that this is quite playable. Um, this computer is not going to be used that much for playing games anyway. Primarily, it's going to be used for doing videos and um, music production. So, you know, I'm not going to be playing a lot of it anyway. So, this is just a good test to see how it goes. Okay, so this next bit is um, all from the video I did to the particles in the music. Um, this clip has got 640,000 particles in there. It's got glow applied, it's got the audio spectrum, and it's got an audio waveform on there. Um, the actual length of the track, the full length, is 7 minutes and 11 seconds. And it took 3 hours, 26 minutes, and 15 seconds to render. My last laptop wouldn't even run it with the particles. 
and the other laptop that I have done tests with particles on and music uh, rendering out before, I can't remember the exact time and I can't remember how many particles were on there, um, but it took a long, long time to render. I used to have to leave the laptop running overnight um, and I think it was like six or seven hours it took to render it out. So this at the three hours, 26 minutes, um, I'm pretty happy with that. And um, yeah, here's a short snippet of the clip. Yeah, so that's the Metabox laptop. Um, I have run my audio software on here, so I use Reaper. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got the screen capture software set up for that yet, um, but I can tell you I've opened up a project on this one that I've had running on the last one. Uh, what was it? The last laptop I had that same project open up on, uh, the memory was at 98%, uh, and the CPU was running at 40 to 50%. Uh, on this laptop, the memory is running at 33% being used and the CPU is only running at 17%. So that's a massive, massive difference um, for what I have been doing with it. Uh, I've also managed to stream 4K YouTube videos with this and it did that without a problem. Um, I will do a video using Reaper further down the track and I'm going to try and max it out with a whole load of different tracks running... Um, sense and that sort of stuff and lots of effects to see see how how much i can put on there and what it will cope with um but yeah i'm pretty happy with it and i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of this and um it'll be able to do what i want so i hope that has helped anybody if they're considering these laptops um the other thing that was great too was the the service was great uh when i spoke to them over the phone uh it was no crap it was this is what i'm after um what what can we do and uh they helped me out with with trying to decide what we sh what was the best fit for our needs um none of this going into a retail store and you know having people to try and sell you something that is way 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 more powerful than something that you're ever going to use so yeah i'm very very happy with them um yeah so i hope you like it i hope somebody gets something out of this and um yeah we'll do an update in a few months and see how it's going